All right, I'm going to show you another argument for the biblical Godhead and not the papal trinity, the three gods, that whole thing. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 it says here, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Um, very interesting point here. Let us make man in our image. Is our, O-U-R, our, is that plural or singular? It's plural. It's more than one. Our. I can't say our sermon here right now is I can say my sermon because I'm just me, there's nobody else in the room here. If I say our, well, then that's more than just one. But what is image? Image is singular. So our, plural, image, singular. Hmm, how about that? After our, plural, likeness, singular. So how is that possible? Well, is our New Testament tie-in to the image of God? Let us make man in our image image. Go to Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Speaking about Jesus Christ. Let us make man in our image. What is our image? Jesus Christ. And um, you say, well, up in heaven there's God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. Uh, okay, uh, that's not what the text says right here. The invisible God. Who is it talking about? Jesus Christ is the visible. He's the body. God, the Father, is the invisible God. All right? Jesus Christ is the image of God. So when you read back in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, it talks about, let us make man in our image. What it's talking about is body, soul, spirit, one being. It's just that simple.